What's up YouTube, it's the Gizmo Pro here. This is the Galaxy Z Flip 6, Samsung's latest clamshell style foldable. It boasts a new camera, hinge, cover screen, software enhancements, more AI, and a new price point. The Z Flip 6 has also introduced several upgrades. Let's dive in. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and click the bell notification icon to get all my latest videos. There's now a 50 megapixel main camera. The hinge is smaller, reducing the screen crease as well. It features the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip and 12 gigabytes of RAM with enhanced AI capabilities. Essentially, the Z Flip 6 is a Galaxy S24 that folds in half, which is fantastic. So, the Z Flip 6 should be a slam dunk, right? Well, not quite. Samsung raised the price from an already hefty $1,000 to $1,100, altering its value proposition. Previous models offered a lot for the dollar, and while you might snag a good trade-in deal, it's still $1,100. Competitors like Motorola with its new Razer Plus also have new cameras, hinges, chips, 12 gigabytes of RAM, and more AI, but at a lower price point. This makes it hard to fully appreciate this Galaxy Z Flip 6 for the excellent phone it is, especially when the Razer Plus is also outstanding and costs much less. The design of the Z Flip 6 is nearly identical to last year's Z Flip 5. The glossy back is gone, replaced with a sleek matte finish. The review unit I've been testing comes in a sophisticated quiet blue with matching highlights around the dual cameras and cover screen. It has a Bauhaus inspired design that would make dieter ramps proud. The phone feels rigid and solid like a single continuous piece. It boasts an IP48 rating for water and dust resistance allowing it to be submerged under one and a half meters of water for 30 minutes. The dust resistance is particularly exciting and aside from last year's Motorola Razer Plus, this is the only other flip phone with this feature. However, fine particles can still be an issue. The Z Flip 6 has a 3.4 inch cover screen with Samsung's signature folder tab cut out for the dual cameras. It's small, but offers optimized widgets and playful wallpapers. And with some tweaks, you can run almost any Android app on it. I just wish this ability was available out of the box, like the Razer Plus. Nonetheless, this is the best cover screen experience on any Z Flip phone so far. The Z Flip 6 retains the same 10 megapixel selfie camera as last year's Z Flip 5. The 12 megapixel ultra wide camera gets a new sensor, and there's a new 50 megapixel main camera similar to the one on the S24. This is the best flip phone camera I've used, but when compared to non-flip phones like the Pixel 8 Pro and S24 Ultra, they still perform better. The main camera captures good details, though some textures like leaves can appear overly sharp. It's not a high action camera, but works well for Instagram and TikTok. Some photos show processing marks like strange artifacts in the sky or clouds around tree edges. I love the ultra wide cameras on Samsung's phones. They strike a balance between dramatic and natural without veering into fisheye territory. Overall, ultra-wide images from the Z Flip 6 are decent but can be soft and processed, especially in cloud detail. A fun new camera feature is the auto zoom in and out. Powered by Galaxy AI, perfect for selfies or group shots. It works but can be slow to pick up changes in position or distance. AI features on the Z Flip 6 include the ability to draw on a photo and turn your sketch into a photorealistic object or animal. It's fun, though I wish I could use it for more practical jokes like drawing mustaches on friends. The interpreter mode uses both screens to show each speaker's words in their own language. It's useful but translates word by word, which can be inaccurate. I tried it with English to Spanish and English to French. While ordering coffee in Panama, the translation was mostly accurate but slightly off, which could embarrass the speaker. Another AI feature, Portrait Studio, turns portraits into artwork. It's fun, but not very accurate. While AI tools like Circle to Search and Autofocus Reframe are nifty, they shouldn't be the main reason to buy the Z Flip 6. Are there AI features on the Z Flip 6 or other phones that make you want to buy them? 
Let me know in the comments. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and 12 gigabytes of RAM make the Z Flip 6 fast and fun to use. Even demanding tasks like video recording or gaming don't stress the phone much. It has a built-in vapor chamber cooling system which helps keep it from overheating and it's a tiny thin foldable phone. It occasionally gets warm but nothing worrisome. The cooling system along with a larger 4000 mAh battery means this is an all day phone. Over a week of use it consistently ended the day with 10-50% to 50 battery left, even with high brightness and heavy photo and video use. The Galaxy Z Flip 6 is an outstanding phone and Samsung offering 7 years of OS and security updates is amazing. The issue is the Razer Plus, of course. Also an excellent phone and $100 cheaper. I'm working on an in-depth comparison between the Razer Plus and Z Flip 6, so stay tuned for that. But what do you think, YouTube? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this comparison helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching. Thanks for continuing to support my channel and stay tuned for more in-depth hands-on comparisons. And definitely check out the link below for new merch for the Gizmo Pro family. See you next time. Peace.